It might be an idea to start a new logic project to get used to how EXS24 works. Empty project. One software instrument is what we want. And make sure this open library box isn't ticked. We don't want logic to open up a preset for us. Over here on the channel strip, we'll load up an EXS24 in stereo. And you'll see that this is a blank patch now. There's no writing here, which means if I play the keys, we should hear yeah, a sine wave. There's no samples been loaded up. The first thing I always do personally is turn off the velocity sensitivity here by dragging that up to there because I don't want to have to keep bashing the keys too hard to get a good volume. Now we need to create a preset before we can start editing it so we click the little edit button here which brings up the rather complicated EXS24 instrument editor. First of all we'll create a new instrument and if we look at the main window we'll see that it's given it a really large number there because it's just one of thousands of EXS24 presets in the logic library so we need to call it something more meaningful I'm actually going to go to save as and I know I'm going to load up the pan flute sample and we can see that's now changed to pan flute then I need to get the pan flute WAV file into this audio file table here and I have to make a zone first, a zone is a particular sample assigned to a group of keys so we go to new zone then we get this little triangle where I can load up a sample load audio sample And there we have a pan flute sample in C. Now we can see as well there's a grey bar down here which shows us that sample, or that zone I should say, is over the entire keyboard. It's actually from C minus 2 to G8, so it's every key that you can get via MIDI. We should be able to hear that now. Okay, um, there's nothing stopping us duplicating that and perhaps changing some of the parameters here. We could fine tune both of those zones uh, by a small amount. Pan one left, pan one right to get a sort of stereo double tracking. Make sure when we've done something we like that we save, otherwise we could lose it. And that pan flute now is in my sampler library. I can just click there to get a list of all my own presets. Okay, now what about if I wanted different sounds on different keys, such as a drum kit for instance, with a snare on one key, a bass drum on another, etc. Well, that's easy enough too. Let's make a new EXS24. I'll just go out and in again. Okay, same thing. Velocity off. Edit. Let's create a new instrument. Let's save as. Um, I'm going to call this 909 kit. And then what I can do is go to zone and I can load multiple samples before I've even made my zone. So my samples are here. I only want about four samples. Let's have the hand clap and I can do a multiple selection by holding 
command uh, close hat kick drum and a snare let's click add down here and they're added to a, a list because it might be that we want to find some in another folder but they're all I want for now I'll click done now it's asking me here how it wants to zone those map them across the key zones I find the most useful in this case would be contiguous zones where I set a zone width of one because I only want one sample on one key a start note of C1 would make sense because it would follow general MIDI to have my kick drum there and the other drums a bit higher up click OK and you'll see down here that it's made four smaller zones that are one key long each Now, let's have a listen. OK, so they're all mapped to different keys. Now, they're not exactly in the right place. Um, I'd like them to conform to general MIDI. So, for instance, my hi-hat, which is there, I'd like to drag that over to the F-sharp key there, which is where it would normally be. Uh, likewise... The hand clap can go there, bass drum there and snare there. Now what I have to be careful of is that those drums have now gone slightly out of tune because if we look up here the key range has changed but the root key, the original pitch of them, has stayed the same and that's messed up the tuning. This root key needs to match the key range if I want it to sound like the original drum machine anyway. So clap here, let's change that to D sharp 1. Closed hat to F sharp 1, just clicking and dragging. Kick to C1 and snare to D1. And there I should have them properly tuned. OK, I'll just save that, close the editor, and we can see the 909 kit there. I can easily go back to my pan flute by clicking, and these are all the presets I've made over the years. Let's find my pan flute, where is it there? What I might want to do on that is just make it a bit more gentle by adding a little bit of attack and release on this front panel we've got various synth type parameters which enable us to further sculpt the sound but we've run out of time